In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can scan values from a notepad text file into an array by using C++ so that you can use it to perform mathematical operations. This can be very useful if you're calculating aerodynamic data for an aircraft and you have to import files from an external source. So first of all in C++ you have the header file. Make sure you include these two lines mainly. Include stream, which means string stream. This is used to parse a file. And also include vector. So a vector is similar to an array, but you can do a lot more operations with it. Also make sure you have include stream, where f means file importing and outporting. So this is what my main program looks like. I have int main. And first, I define my variables, string, alpha, cd, cl, and cy. Then I define four empty arrays there for storing the values. I also define pi, so I can convert from degrees and so on. Next, I have to input the file name, so I make a variable string file. Print on the screen, enter the file name. Next, I have cn file. So at this point, the user will input the file and you will have four empty arrays which are waiting to be filled. I have a counter here for the number of lines, i equals zero for now. And the next line, which is if stream coefficient file, coeff is my object and file is the file name which will be imported. So this just reads the file. Next I have if coef is underscore open. Now what this means is that while the file is open, you can perform some operations. So I write string line and then get line, coefficient line, and this is done outside the while loop, so I can ignore the first line in my program. The first line does not contain any data, it just contains the variable names, alpha, cd, cy, cl, and so on. The while loop is where it all begins. I have while exclamation mark coeff dot eof. Now this means that the EOF means end of file and the exclamation mark means unequal to. So what this is saying is that while we are not yet at the end of the file, perform the operations inside the loop. So the first line I have get line coefficient comma alpha comma comma. So this comma means that the variables data is separated by a comma as you can see in the file here. Also alpha is in the first column. So that'll be my first get line. Next, I have AOA, which is my empty array, push back. So in a vector, you can append. Since AOA is a vector, I can say push back STOF alpha. STOF simply converts the string into a float. So a decimal value, a number basically. I do the same thing for CD and CL as well. When I get to see why I say new line because that is where my notepad file ends and I have to jump to the new line. So that is when the get line will skip the line and go to the new line. Next I also increment the lines by one because I do want to count how much data my file has. When that's done I simply say close the file and then I have my number of entries there. At the bottom I have an else. So if you look at my if statement, I say, if the file is open, then read the file. But if you're unable to open it, just output to the screen, unable to open file. So when that's done, we can also take a look at how we can output the values here. So I have C out, AOA, CD, CL as a header. And then I just have, I'm just outputting everything in a for loop. So I say for int j equals to zero, j equals to i j plus plus output every single value in the array there the slash t is to separate by a tab so this following program lets you scan notepad files if you're confused and if you're not clear about something i do have the entire program in github in the link in the description below so you can take a look at it yourself and see how the program works that's it for now and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye